Hey everyone, Fox here with another Marvel Avengers video. And, um, so the covert task is, uh, easy and annoying. Uh, there's a lot of battles on uh, deploys you need, like Mr. Fantastic. I mean, you can check it all on the wiki. Um, there's two. No. No, no, wait. Three. Three annoying things. For one thing, you have to complete the Sif battle at one point. Uh, it's really, like all heroic battles, it's all luck if you're low levels. If you're like level 13, uh, you, you're pretty much guaranteed like f beat it. Even though some people have come um, with people with higher levels have asked me, uh, they have troubles doing it. Uh, it really, it's, it's really is luck. Uh, the Sif battle, I finally, um, I trained uh, Sif to level 10 this time, and I gave her the violent attack and accuracy, um, uh, ISO 8. And, uh, let's see where is Sif. So yeah, Sif's, um, I gave her, let's see, full, let's see, five steady, one powerful, two powerful, three steady, no, actually it's three powerful, two steady, and one attack and accuracy. The only way you're really going to finish this is that you have to um, rage against uh, Enchantress. So if you're having trouble, uh, I suggest you have something like this. Uh, of course, high levels you can modify the moves with wide open and do some serious damage, or with um, slashing, uh, ignore defense. So, yeah, Sif battle. That's like the only hard thing. Um, the other ones are just tedious. Uh, drop rates from the meat. I mean, you just do the respective chapters, and you're guaranteed to get them. But that's not even the bullshit part yet. The biggest bullshit is this task. Collect 99 of this tankards. You get 5 gold. Cool. It costs 99 gold to auto complete it if you're really desperate to do this. Um, I think some people of I heard people actually like some people made a mistake and they had like 25 or 30 and then they clicked finish now and that's a waste because each one is at least one gold so it's not like three gold per piece uh... so all one gold if you want to like spend five for lazy and just do it but ninety nine farming now here's a problem the heroic battle has um... empire ice rates for Fandral, hogan and volstag so and each of them actually are good. They're actually good in Paradise Rates. Uh, Fandral's um, would you retort applies migraine. Hogan um, is immune to off balance and um, winded, fumbling and uh, what is it? Flanked. Very good. And Volstag's one. i have actually laughing at it because it says each run he gains well fed. Well fed such a lame buff, but well fed with false tag works. So it's actually amazing. <laughs> so y you want to farm that heroic battle, get those items. If you don't have Hogan yet, you're going to want that Empire State now by the time Vulcan, um, now until Hogan becomes released in end of uh, May, I guess. Because we'll get the next PvP season end of April, so yeah, end of May. And that's far. Uh, so, 99 tankards. I've only been farming for like a day, and I farmed 97, so I'm going to do the last two show you how to do it the easy way. And what makes this um, task game finish, if you wanted to get the the tankard, which makes your agent one of the hero um, warriors three, you need to recruit Volstag, so you need 90 command points more. If that's if you really want this weapon, which I guess is, gonna, is a very decent weapon to have. Actually, one of the few um, covert tasks or weapons I actually like. Alright, so 
the tankards only drop one per fight. A lot of people don't understand this. I've seen I'll read the, um, the wiki page and uh, I don't know. Some people like one guy he had to like really detail explain. I mean I, I noticed that it's it is one per fight. Apparently someone got two and had a combat um, validation error. I don't know about that. So what you want to do is do chapter four, season two, chapter four, any mission. Do not do mission one. Mission one has actually low drop rates. I mean chapter one has low drop rates. Chapter two has no nothing. You actually get nothing from chapter two surprisingly. And chapter three. Uh, chapter three has uh, a little higher drop rate, but chapter four is best because you guaranteed 99% of the time it'll drop from a boss. So do all the way and get to Wrecker. So this is the one with Sif Battle, uh, mission three of chapter four, season two, and. So I'll just skip everything and get to the fight. I prefer you use Quicksilver if you have them. Or any multi hit uh, heroes like Wasp, uh, Emma Frost, War Machine. Uh, who else? Deadpool. Yeah, that's really all I, I I can I can really say. I really do it. Really multiple hits, like more than three hits, or at least. Uh, with Quicksilver, you can get at least ten hits, six or four. So since this one has an infiltrator, you can use the basics. Um, Quicksilver, no Empowered Ice Eight, no nothing. You you don't want to kill them right away. You want to do as much hits as possible so the item drops. Which is you really want to get the drop within the first battle. As you notice, I didn't kill pile pile driver because um, there's a chance that the item won't drop within these two mobs. And then if you're left with um, the other Jotun, Druton, and um, Wrecking Ball, there's a chance that you're not gonna get the item. It's a really slim chance. I mean, like nine out of ten, you're gonna get your um, tankard, but there's a small chance that you probably won't very small. So we'll do it again. More multi hits. Okay, now Valkyrie will go up next and we'll attack this guy. Don't kill him yet. Okay, as my agents line up, it's really just a bunch of quick actions and the hot shot. So what we're going to do first is use the mark spotter. Everything here is actually free. You can I actually did get this from the last back ops. I didn't know that thirst actually reduces stamina of your opponents. Kind of neat. Guaranteed one hit uh, targeted and one round cooldown. Uh, hot shot. I had this since um, I was level 80. I haven't like reforged it yet. So it's multi hit. I just did that, and this hits everybody. It's not subtle, so well, it is subtle, but I mean, it's not like stealthy or something. It, it, it still hits, and it shows a zero marker. So this sometimes you can actually get a drop or not. It happens. I saw one guy said on the wiki you can do it, and it happened like one time. Okay, I see items can't drop from this. Uh, I won't use that because he'll die. So we attack Quicksilver. Right. So attack. And we didn't get a tankard. Usually he, he's the one that drops the tankard. If not, it'll be this guy. And there we go. Now here's the problem. You cannot refresh your page. You cannot... Uh, close the game now. You have to finish this fight, and you cannot win, because if you win, you have to start all over, 
and burn a f maybe a full bar of energy to get back to Wrecking Ball or any boss that you choose and do it again. So you need to lose this fight. So I'm just going to have to drown it out. Make this guy strong as hell to hit me. Hit everyone actually. My only complaint is that Valkyrie survives everything. Because when you both your um, teammates die, she gains health. Wow. I wish this can go faster. I wish it could. <sighs> and I actually don't want to kill anybody. I mean, you can do multi hits with um, Quicksilver or so with any low damage. Uh, I actually just put my um, arm, the armor on my agent has nothing, no ISO 8s, it just plain. And with this, with the specimen scanner, just keep putting radiation so with Quicksilver and my agent will die faster. Valkyrie is immune to radiation, so she's not dying. So I'm going to have to do two battles, so the next battle will be right after this one. It's fast. Is this going to finish? Come on, Power Driver, hit everybody. Ah, oh, money shot. And you miss. There we go. And Valkyrie gains a crap ton of health. One time I'm not happy about it. I mean, this, um, sp this because of this task line, is the first time I actually gifted for energy. I never, I only use, like, I always go for ISO 8 and shield points. Since I have, like, 3k shield points now, I'm like, okay, I need energy for once. <sighs> Valkyrie's just gonna gain health because he's gonna kill a quick server. Or not. Make sure he gets his two stack of enrage so he can do more damage against my team. I mean, this is actually the only downfall to doing this is the amount of energy you're wasting. I don't know, but it's you want to get this done so you can farm, you know, command, go back to farm command points or farm the heroic battle or Fandral and the hero three, warrior three, um, in Paradise Wait. So that's why I'm doing it because the next spec ops is not far away uh, most likely we'll have the spec ups within the beginning of April or March 31st alright and I didn't level up from that okay so I need to use energy and now for the conclusion So, rinse and repeat. Quicksilver attacks again. Follow up attack. That can be bad, it can be good. Uh, no tankard yet. And there it is. Alright, so... Hopefully this helps um, with getting the tankards, because it is a BS um, task line. So good luck. I won't show you through.
through the next battle because it's just too much.